was no sign of the fever. The antidote worked. That's great. Carly's been really amazing with him, huh? Yeah. Maybe a little too much so. He doesn't look very happy. Is there a problem with the baby? Carly, what do you really want with my son? I want to get evidence in front of the baby. I didn't realize there was a problem, Jax. Well, there could be. Can you can you sit with little John for a minute, please? Sure. I'll do. Okay, well. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for what, you, what you've done for John. Okay, but. I just think that you should back off just a little bit. Excuse me. I, I don't want him to get attached. Well, I mean, did you forget that I almost died a half a dozen times helping Jason find the antidote that saved your son? Carly, I know you. I know no, you, you don't. No, you don't. You weren't shot at. You weren't held hostage. You weren't injected with the deadly virus, and you didn't inject yourself with something that you hoped to be the antidote in some crazy act of desperation, and you certainly weren't there when I promised Courtney that I was going to take care of her little boy. So please don't mistake this for something I'm doing for you, because I'm doing it for her and that little boy who she's not around to love. Is this really about honoring your word to Courtney, or does this have something to do with Sonny? Thank you for getting here so fast. What's going on? Well, um, Jax wants to know your intentions towards Courtney's baby. What do you mean intentions? I'm gonna let him tell you. So I don't get accused of sending you hand signals to influence your answers. Can <clears throat> I sit with him, please? Yeah, sure, you don't have to ask. Thanks. So I'm, I'm hoping that there's not going to be a lot of friction around the baby. It's not good for him, I'm sure you know that. It wasn't good for him before he was born, but that didn't stop you and Jax. Hey, baby. Courtney would be glad to know that you're taking an interest in her son. Nicholas brings up my point of concern. Uh, okay, well, I'm listening. Look, John's not even a week old, and Carly's taken an active role in his life. Well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, Carly loves children, and Courtney was her best friend. Or oh, she's doing it on your behalf. What do you mean, my behalf? John's your nephew, okay, Sonny? I know how ruthless you can be when it comes to family. So it occurred to me that you might be using Carly to try to take my son away from me. And if that's your strategy, I suggest that you back off because there's nothing I won't do to keep this little boy. Carly's interest in your son is her own. I mean, Courtney was her friend. She never got to be there when Michael and Morgan were born. Whatever, look, you should be grateful because your son can only benefit. As far as the rest, you got nothing to fear from me because I know how important a father is to a son, especially when the mother's not around. I respect that. I am not going to come between you and John in any way. You have my word. Okay. And I'll accept it. I mean, I know we, we've had, you know, some hostility and mistrust in the past, I'd love to see my uh, my nephew grow up, but if you don't want me to be any part of that, if you're not comfortable with that, I understand. I'll keep my distance. Like that's something new, some big hardship. You don't give a damn about John, just like you didn't care about Courtney. You don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, you don't Michael. think I do? I don't you don't think so? Let me hazard a guess. 
when Courtney died, you didn't spare one second of your time in mourning for her. You went straight home and hit the sheets with Emily. How am I doing so far? I'm so I get that you're hurting. Over Courtney as bad as it gets. And you're angry at the world, at fate, God, me. Because I'm still here and Courtney's dead. And you know what, Mike? I don't blame you. I could have been a lot more considerate to her. That's something I'm going to have to live with. As you know, I've lost children too. And there's nothing in this world worse. The pain seems bottomless like it's going to swallow you whole. But if hating me helps you deal with it, if, if it gives you something that you can hang on to so you don't fall out of sight, then I can take anything you got. You can take your empathy and go straight to hell. Or to Emily. Or whoever buys your selective emotion. It ain't me. Now, you take better care of my grandson than you did my daughter. You raise him up smart and strong and giving like his mother. Mike, you're, you're welcome in John's life. I know that's what Courtney would have wanted. I appreciate that. What was that all about? Well, first, first, I owe you an apology. It was it was wrong of me to accuse you of clearing the way for Sonny to steal my my son. It's a parent's instinct to want to protect their children. What changed your mind, Sonny? You know, for once, he actually said something that I believed. He has pretty strong views on kids knowing their fathers. It right. came from his situation with Alexis. That little baby is going to need all the love he can get. You know, I'm going to need some help in that department if you're still willing to give it. I'm not really big on forgiveness. But I guess I can make an exception for the baby. Yeah. And I want to honor Courtney. I want to give that boy the, the best start in life that I can. You know what? I think I have an idea that may help you with that. There's great news. The house next door to mine is for rent, and you can move in right away. What, what do you mean, move in? Well, that's what I said. Well, I was planning to, to, to live in the penthouse. You can live in the penthouse. It's not good for a baby. Trust me, I've been there. And no offense, but you're new at this, and you're going to need some help. I'd be right next door, and so would Letitia. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get a nanny. But the nanny's going to need some time off. Why are you not all over this? Look, you know my neighborhood. It's great. There are trees. There's fresh air. It's quiet. John will be growing up next to Michael and Morgan. It's a win-win situation. 